Hey my 50 Licious fam, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about one of my most favorite subjects, my hair, how to keep it on my head, what I'm doing to combat female pattern baldness, menopause hair, whatever you want to call it. 50 Licious for me means doing whatever I can to take care of my hair, so stick around. Alrighty, today I'm going to, this is like an introductory video, I want to put these two things up here. In another video, and I'll put a card up right there, I talked about the supplements that I take. I take MSM by mouth, little teeny little teaspoon, in fact, one scoop, there's a little scoop in here, it's one thousand milligrams I do about two scoops per day it tastes horrible so I always mix it with something that tastes really sweet or tastes really good to choke it on down or some type of coffee that I've already made like the last few sips put this in here but I recently saw well actually I read on somebody's blog it, it was a hair blog with afro textured hair like mine where she took the MSM, and I do this in an oil, but I haven't been doing it for long, where she takes a little bit of the oil and makes what they call MSM water. Yes, MSM water using this and water, and you can do it for various things. She sprayed it on her hair. Yes, and she claimed to have and she claimed to have good results. Now that's the first time I've ever had that. So let me show you how I do it. I decided to try this MSM in water mixture, making me some basically MSM water. I understand that you can buy it someplace. I haven't noticed it ever, but I wasn't looking for it either. But I took a trusty spray bottle, this bottle here. Now this has, I just put in like a leave, a leave in conditioner and some other oils and things in here that I was already just spraying on my hair daily just to moisturize it. But I decided to put a few teaspoons of this. And I'm saying teaspoons, but I'm doing like the scoop that came with the product. So let me find the scoop, here it is. So you can see, this is a really tiny scoop. I put like three scoops, and I'm not being scientific, I just, three scoops just seem like enough for um, this bottle of kind of a um, conditioning spray, homemade mixture of some really good products. Um, but I put that in here and I shake it up really good every time I get ready to use it. And I literally just spritz my hair because when you have kinky hair, you wanna wet it in the mornings. Like people keep asking me about Rogaine. I use Rogaine at night on a dry scalp. I'm spritzing this. So I've been using this for just over a week. So I haven't seen any results, good or bad. So no negative effects. But I definitely wanna come back on and show y'all if it makes a difference. Now I'm really spraying it in these areas. These are my thinner areas. And my top, praise God, has thickened up to just a normal consistency, but I usually concentrate on my crown as well. So where I'm spraying it, let me um, be clear again, and I'll do before and after pictures. I already took pictures, but here and here. Also, I'm sorry, I'm doing it on my sides here because my sides are, are sparse. I've cut it like this, but they're still not as thick as I want them to be. And over here. So really this area in this area. Hold my head down so you can see this area, this area. MSM water with a little leave-in conditioner. So let's see what happens. So I'm taking it orally and spritzing it on my hair. Enjoying this video? Well please take the time to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you'll be alerted of all my new videos. There. Thank you. When I talk about my hair, I like to talk about my faith because to me they go hand in hand. So as I'm trying new things, as I'm using the products, I'm always praying, I'm always saying affirmations, always um, praying to my Lord and Savior in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm always doing that. But also in my prayer, not just for the literal healing and growth of my hair and my scalp, but I'm also praying to find 
and to see something that might be good, might work better, might be more natural than what I'm already doing. One, so of course I can try it, but two, so I can come back and share it with you. I made a promise to the Lord that if my hair came back and it has, that I would absolutely tell and share. So thank you for watching.